Hey, so this little video is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to do a basic hack. Some of you might have just got your kit and you opened it up and you thought, now what? So I'm going to walk you step by step to do a basic hack to start you off by putting on your makeup for the first time. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on our contour using our 30 second hack brush. This technique works well because then you don't use as much of the product by putting on the contour in the areas that the contour goes. First, you can kind of see where the highlights go and helps you kind of learn the placement. After you get good with this technique, you can switch it up. You can put your highlights on first, whatever works best for you. And that's the beauty of mascara. It is customizable however you want to do it, whatever works best for your face and whatever works best for you. So the first thing to do is get those cute little tins and pop those 3D foundation tins out and put them in your compact from lightest to darkest. I'm gonna be walking you through doing the contour, highlight, illuminator, and lip and cheek. Ready? Let's go. Start by taking those lids off of the tins and I like to save them because you can always cover you those shades back up if you need to shade up or shade down and they're really helpful when popping out your tins um, later on when you need to take them out. The tins fit in there so well because they're magnetic. I like to arrange my uh, tins by color just so that I know what I have and where it's at. So this is my lip and cheek, my contour, my main highlight, and my brightener. If you got the illuminator instead of your brightening highlight or instead of a lip and cheek, you can swap it out and put it really wherever you want. It's kind of a personal preference. This is just what works for me. Go ahead and grab that 30 second hack brush. We're gonna be using the point to your side and you're gonna use just a little bit of that contour. We're gonna be applying that where we wanna create the shadows. You can always add more if you need to. I like to start closer to the top of my ear and I kind of hook the end of the contour line to make an illusion of a more chiseled cheekbone. And I'm gonna start off light and then you can always build upon it. Now I'm going to be adding that contour to my forehead. I'm going to go on my jawline too. And I go down the sides of my neck too to kind of contour my neck as well. It's a personal preference, but you can also do that. Now I'm going to be using um, the contour to contour my nose. I kind of pinch the end of my brush to make it a little bit more narrow and then I add two lines on either side of my nose to kind of create a little bit of a slimmer appearing nose and then I'm going to use that domed end to kind of buff it all together and kind of blur those lines. Now I'm gonna go in with my brightening highlight. I'm gonna use that rounded side of that 30 second hack brush and I'm just going to tap it in there. You don't need a lot, you can always add more. And I'm gonna go underneath my eyes in a kind of a pie shape. And kind of filling in that space between the contour line and my eye. I'm also gonna go in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then the middle of my chin. Now I'm gonna be using my main highlight, which is the darker of the two highlight shades. And I'm gonna be stippling that in anywhere that the brightening highlight is not and the contour is not. The stippling motion gives you a little bit more control so you're not adding too much products or swiping it away. And then I kind of blend it all together using that domed side of the 30 second hack brush. Now I'm going to be using my lip and cheek and I'm just going to be tapping that into my apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to be using the domed side of that 30 second hack brush to kind of blend it in a little bit. I'm using light pressure because I still want to keep that color right where I put it. Now I'm going to be putting that on my lips. And 
and moving on to illuminator if you have that. I'm going to put that underneath my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose, on the end of my nose, and then on the top of my cheekbones. This gives a little bit of a dewy glow finish. Also on my cupid's bow and in the inside of my um, eyes to bring some light. And there you go. As easy as that.